Yeah, it was released um, November 16th, 04 on Windows and November 15th, 2005 on Xbox. Oh, really? That was like right when the 360 was coming out, wasn't it? I'm sorry, I missed that. I was tuned into the game. November 15th, 2005. That was around the time the 360 was coming out. I do believe that is correct. So this was legit one of the last games to be released on the original Xbox with full support. It's... Now, the uh, the area of the game you're exploring here is uh, City 17. It's supposed to be set in um, Eastern Europe, and it's quite a few years after the original Half-Life took place. Um... Now you you were put into stasis at the end of the original Half Life, and now you were brought out of it by uh, the G Man, and then they put you in City Seventeen. That was fun. Now this game has also been released in a couple of different forms, and there have been uh, two episodes for it so far. There still is no episode. Three yet, <laughs> which is surprising because it should have come out by now. <laughs> Maybe they aren't Hollywood. Maybe they're not going to milk this cow for all it's worth. Well, and no, then it was previously announced that there were supposed to be three episodes. <laughs> beat it until it's dead. Uh. Because, well, I mean, with the cash that they're making on Portal... I'm not sure they need to. Well, see, um, the way that uh, Gabe Newell described it is that the Half-Life 2 episodes are essentially Half-Life 3. And that instead of just doing a full sequel, they were just going to put them out in pieces. I suppose that way they could lose them through the leaked internet. <laughs> But like I said previously, this um, this game is very well known for different mods and everything. And once they release the um, Source Engine to the community, all kinds of different things started coming out for it. Now, can you show us a little bit about uh, how everything works, Luke? No. You pretty much use Y to pick stuff up. Uh, you use A to jump. It's pretty basic. Do you have a weapon? No. Okay. And as you can see, we've been playing through the beginning portion of the game. As I got some pictures taken of me, I'm sure that's going to be turning out well here real soon. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because then they'll be after me. Well, hopefully not. <laughs> yes, we can hope not, but I won't make any bets. I think... Yep. We want to just grab... Oh, that's not happening. No. Nope. But this is. I'm gonna climb the ladder. Yep. Going up the ladder. Or. Well, that. Uh huh. Probably gonna have to jump that. And no. <laughs> Drop down on the other side. Ooh. Let's go this way. 
As you can see, a lot of things are basically kind of on lockdown. Yes. Everyone, everyone seems to be kind of milling around in fear. It's a very interesting... Kind of dark and grim. Yeah. It... it it's kind of military-esque. Militant. Okay. In that the uh, the people that have taken over are kind of, you know have everything all sectioned off and under control and kind of a suppressive regime. Yeah, all the people go this way or that type of deal. Gotcha. What was that? I have no clue what he said. then. Yeah, he's a little, uh, a little bit out of it there. Yeah, it seems like a lot of the people are just kind of, like, defeated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> disarm them. Can you disarm them? That's not really the objective at this point. Because if you could disarm them, that would be fantastic. The objective's more or less to escape the area. Aha! You just got slapped by one. Yep. Is there an opening to get to the roof? There was the other way. Uh, there go that way, go that way. way. You see, you don't have, really have a weapon, so you can't really defend yourself. It's just kind of like a stealth game at this point, only like as long as you don't do anything against them they're not gonna care or as long as you're not in the wrong area they're not gonna care yeah cuz I noticed you ran into a few of them while you were um, kinda getting away and, and then they were like oh well whatever whatever yeah pretty much Alright, looks like it kind of has, has a little guide for you. Indeed it does. You see you're running across the rooftops here. Um, this one really pushed the graphical engine too, didn't it? Oh, but Jesus. Are we playing the Jaguar? Nope, nope, we just got the red screen of death. death. <laughs> I went splat. Okay, well... I think that was a decent look at Half-Life 2. Yeah, I think that's good. I think we're ready to move on to our last game here, where we're going to close out the original Xbox and um, say goodbye to an old friend. Sounds like a plan. Welcome back, everybody. We're taking a look at our final game for the original Xbox, and I'm pretty sure you recognize this one if you played the original Xbox at all. Halo 2. You probably have friends who have played this. If you haven't. Yeah. Somebody that you know more than likely has played Halo 2. <laughs> because it was one of the most popular games of the entire generation. In fact, I would go so far as to say that this game really pushed the uh, 
multiplayer online. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, the thing was, people who had been waiting and waiting to be able to play Halo online because the first one was not online enabled because it came out before live. Live launched, people have been playing it for a couple of years because this came out in 04. Yeah. At the end of 04. The first one provided people with a lot of land party basement action. Yeah, whereas land in... Land party apartment action. Whereas... Two was when the whole Xbox Live thing exploded. I remember the release of this game. It was ridiculous. It was. And you would see lines of 50 people in, a, in places that normally wouldn't have lines for any video game. And they added a lot of weapons, like the SMG and... Um, the fact that you could... You were able to dual wield in this one, weren't you? Yeah. Dual wielding was a big addition. <laughs> it was. And you actually got to play as the Arbiter, one of the Covenant. Yeah. And that was kind of a big deal because the Covenant were your main enemy for the most part in the first game. Well, well you had the flood. the flood. Yeah. I mean... Go ahead and get into the story with us, Luke. Well, this is why we're uh, sitting here watching the cutscenes of which the cutscenes of this guy who actually turns out to be the arbiter because he's been branded a heretic, and this is his trial as for his heresy. Okay. And as the arbiter, they're like. Well, he's either going to kill everything in his path, or die trying. So, it's fitting. Okay. <clears throat> now this guy plays a major part, doesn't he? Um, well, these are the prophets. Um, they're basically the, uh, the government of the Covenant race. And, uh, the one actually takes to a different side of the, uh, covenant called the Brutes, I believe, uh, I can't remember his name, I'm sure it's like Faith or Reconciliation or something along those lines, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's got a fantastic storyline. I actually think, personally, that the storyline is better than the, uh, multiplayer, but killing your friends in battle is fun, too. It's just, whenever you hit the online thing, you get a lot of people that are just cursing and swearing all willy-nilly at you, and they don't use creativity. It's kind of boring cursing and swearing because <laughs> it's the same, like, five words over and over. There's no, like, oh. Well, that's kind of what you get when you run into playing uh, 12-year-olds online. Mm, true enough. <clears throat> Even though this is an M-rated title. <laughs> now, um... They they hadn't actually planned on making a sequel, but because Halo 1 was so ridiculously uh, well-received, they decided to work on it. Um, the reason it didn't come out earlier is because there was a lot of um, time constraints, and they had to cut some of the game. Like, it, it seemed like it almost ended cliffhanger-ish. There's actually quite a bit of controversy about the ending of Halo 2. Because it was the cliffhanger. I actually didn't care for that a whole lot, but... Well, not a lot of people did.
We ran from them. They followed. We thought they'd never find us. We were wrong. I will continue my campaign against the humans. No enemy has ever withstood our might. Chief, we're running out of time. I need a weapon. There are things about Halo. Even the higher ox do not understand. There are those who said this day would never come. What are they to say now? Rated M for mature. You can't get